So about a month ago, my friend decided to sell his motorcycle and buy something called a one wheel. Now I didn't have any idea what the one wheel was. He told me the price and I said, wow, it's quite expensive and honestly thought it was kind of a waste of money. Uh, that is until I actually tried and rode the one wheel for the first time. So I was trying his one wheel out for the first time and this is actually me with about maybe two or three minutes of experience on the board. Now I never had any actual skateboarding experience before. I've always been really crap at balancing or sports that involve any balance. Uh, if I could show you, I would show you the footage where I tried out a wave machine. I was on the board for maybe half a second each time. Yeah, it was quite embarrassing. Uh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And after trying out the one wheel for the first time, uh, I thought about it for a good maybe five to six minutes and I went and purchased one. And if you knew me, you would be kind of shocked because that isn't really my style. Um, I like to deliberate on big purchases and quite frankly, I'm kind of frugal. Hello, I like money. But I do have to say that the one wheel, without a doubt, is the best thousand dollars I have ever spent in my entire life. And I mean that, like truly, truly mean that. Now I actually, usually what I do before a purchase is say, do I actually want the item itself? Or if somebody paid me the cash equivalent of that item, would I actually take the money over the actual item? And I would, without a shred of doubt in my body, take the one wheel every single time. And I'm not joking when I say that in the past two and a half weeks of ownership, I have explored more of my neighborhood than in the past three years of actually living here. And honestly, I'm not the type of person to actually physically go outside. There's mosquitoes, there's rain, there's people, and honestly, I'm not about that life. But this has caused me to almost always want to go outside. Even if it's hot as balls outside, if it's there's a light drizzle, I just want to always be on the one wheel. It's one of the most incredible feelings I have ever felt in my entire life. I really can't explain it, and if you haven't bought one yet, just go, just add it to your cart, purchase it. Figure out how you're going to pay for it later. Not the best financial advice I've ever given. So now that I've actually told you how much of a hard-on I have for the one-wheel pint, uh, let me get into some of the basics of how it works. So when I was first riding this thing, I was amazed at how intuitive it was. I literally went up to my friend and said, Dude, this thing literally reads in my mind. And it's with that ease and control with one-wheels that really bring it above other e-board devices. And I'm not kidding when I say this, you really want to use it everywhere. Just the other day I went to the grocery store and I actually brought my one wheel with me because I knew it was a busy time of day to actually one wheel to the entrance of the grocery store, put my one wheel in a cart, do my shopping, and then one wheel out of there. It's safe to say that I am addicted. And addicted in the good way. Um, it's definitely a lot cheaper than my heroin addiction. And whether you're riding on grass, dirt, um, through bumps on the concrete sidewalks, bumps on the street, it really soaks it up and makes for a really, really comfortable ride. Um, and I guess that's why they call it uh, floating. Because you actually do feel like you're kind of floating on a cloud and just kind of floating on through. So where am I now with my board? Well, it's been about two and a half weeks and I put about 247 miles on my board and I've had a blast riding through every single one of them. The board is holding up quite well. Nothing beyond its normal wear and tear and your occasional oh shit, I fell off moment. There are so many other places I would like to explore and so many more places I want to take it and super excited for what the future of my exploring goes. And now I'm gonna do a quick lightning round of some notable features on the one wheel pint. Slightly waterproof. Lights bright enough for cars to see you but not bright enough to see in front of you. Simple stop. Super fast charging with ultra charger. 
butt plug. The insane amount of attention you'll get. Great handle for walking less than 10 feet with. Terrible handle for walking over 10 feet with. And speaking of terrible things, the worst thing about any one wheel is actually future motion themselves. Now I actually believe that the one wheel plane is actually one of their best business decisions they ever actually made. And if you know anything about Kickstarter companies and their high fail rates, it's very hard to go from prototype to fundraising to actual production and then fulfilling orders. And it's damn near impressive how far Future Motion has actually gotten. But ever since their first one wheel, it's always been too much of an expensive toy. Uh, a lot of people can't justify the cost of a $1,800, $1,900 toy. And to me, I really couldn't justify it either. That is until they brought in the pint. At sub $1,000, I think it is the perfect price point for consumers to click on and buy it. And my prediction is they've actually sold quite a few of them, which brings its own set of problems to the table. One of those problems being customer service. It's so difficult and so inconsistent to actually get a reply from Future Motion. When I first had an issue with my order, I wanted to order something else along with my one wheel and I contacted them and they responded almost within the half hour about my order. Perfect. So when I first got my board I couldn't fit on the bumper I ordered and fun fact to this day I still can't fit on the bumper that I ordered. I called them actually got a response within you know two minutes. Um, they told me what to do they send, they would send an email out with some detailed little more detailed instructions on how to possibly fit the bumper um, it ended up didn't working, but the reply was pretty good. I got sick of it and just put on the old bumper, which actually one of the screws isn't actually fully seated. So I emailed up them about that a day later, and I to this day I still have not heard any reply whatsoever. And I've heard that from people from the One Wheel Facebook groups that they just the communication is so inconsistent. And that is really just a shame for a company that makes such an amazing product. When you become a multi-million dollar company, there is a certain expectation that falls upon you. Especially when you make such an amazing, amazing device and you just have such a cool array of products. And you really have to step up your game and your customer service has to be on the same level as what you make. Because the people you are helping now with their current products are the people that are going to buy your future products and you really want to keep them on your side. And it's such a shame that we have to deal with the frustrations of, you know, having bad customer service. But at the same time, I do understand that they are still a relatively new company and they still have to grow and adapt and I really do hope that they come out on top and get through all these issues and actually start, you know, replying to messages. But yes, I bought a one wheel, absolutely love it, don't regret the decision one bit. Um, if you're on the fence about buying one, please do yourself a favor, just buy one. It is so worth it.